What would you do if you won the lottery? I'm Bill Sagrass. We're gonna talk about that, not specifically winning the lottery, but generalize that question to something that might be informative to how you use your time, your energy, and your resources. Let's get started. So winning the lottery, what would you do? The, the antecedent that, that led to me thinking about this uh, occurred a while ago uh, at, at school. So it happened right here in this room. I guess it was uh, probably back in March and a student was sitting here and we'd been working and uh, class was coming to an end and he said, Mr. Snodgrass, what would you do if you won the lottery? It was after someone had won the lottery, you know, a big news event. And, and I said, well, you know, I really like teaching, so, you know, I'd probably just pay off some bills. I would like to get a car that didn't require so much maintenance. And uh, after I did those things, I, I would, you know, just go on being a teacher. And, and he said, well, suppose you got so famous that they didn't want you to teach anymore. What would you do then? So I reflected on his question for just a second and, and I sort of reframed his question, not from if you had a lot of money, but I reframed it into if all of the time that you had was yours to do whatever you wanted with, if you didn't have a 40 hour a week job, what would you do with those 40 hours? And in reframing the question, um, I, I quickly came to an answer. What, what I would do, I said to him, is I would write. I would write fiction. I would work on my Ciliar fiction project. I would, I would work on that. That's what I would do. Um, uh, besides the, the things that I, that I do that I feel like contribute back to the community. So if I couldn't teach, if I couldn't be a teacher or whatever, um, and, and I, would, I would do, my main thing would be a fiction writer. And I've been thinking about that for a long, for a long time, ever since, since the conversation came up. And, and again, I reframe the question. I reframe the question again. Not so much, what if you didn't have a job, what would you do with all the time? It was like, if you do have a job, you still have some time that's not obligated. You still have some time that you can use to do whatever you want to do. If you won the lottery and you would become a fiction writer, then if you didn't win the lottery, but you still had time that wasn't obligated, shouldn't you be using your time in that direction? If you won the lottery and you thought that you would want to go into uh, some sort of ecological conservation volunteer work. Well, maybe that's what you should do with your spare time before you win the lottery. The, the lottery question isn't so much about what if you win the lottery as it is what are you passionate about so much that you would do it even if you didn't have to do it. Now, when I look at my own life and in the context of that question, what would I do with time if no one asked me or obligated that time? What would I do? I have been writing. I've been working on the, the, the fiction project for a couple of years, but um, uh, this summer I decided I would just really dig in. I had a, an idea for a, a book that I wanted to work on, and that's what I've basically done for the month of June and July that and um, I returned to the world of Azeroth which is a World of Warcraft world and uh, I've, been, I've been playing World of Warcraft and I've been writing. Uh, I've made a couple of videos on a World of Warcraft channel but the, the biggest check mark off of the things to do list is uh, as, of, as of this morning uh, about 504 pages of new story in the world of Ciliar. Now the whole world is not yet delivered on the website so that's, that's a, a going forward project that I will continue to do. And, and you'll hear about that from time to time on this channel. So if, if I won the lottery and I would become a fiction writer, then in the spare time that I have, I should be a fiction writer. 
Um, if that is the thing that I can look back on the last 30 years and say, ooh, uh, that, that's what I would do, then that's what I ought to be doing. And so, so that's going to become a, a priority as I go forward into the, the fall and into the, the, the next decade of the 21st century. Uh, as I'm going to continue to, to work on that fiction project. Um, as for this channel, it'll continue to go. I'll, I'll continue the science videos. I'm going to do more uh, photography tutorials. Um, the inspirational, motivational videos. I'm, I'm not going to hold myself to a daily or a, a semi-daily or an every other day um, uh, criterion for those. But I'll continue to do those as something comes to me that I think is motivational that I, I need to share. So you can continue to, if you've subscribed, you can continue to look for those things. Um, the occasional science video, more photography tutorials, and um, the occasional or the, the semi-regular uh, motivational, inspirational message. But what about for you? What do, what do you take away from this episode? Well, stop and ask yourself. If your time was completely yours to do whatever you wanted to do with it, what would you do? And then, and then the time that you have now that's completely yours to do whatever you want to do, do things that are in that direction at least. If you would want to go into a, a volunteer situation in, in healthcare, then in the time that you have, Take some first aid classes, get, get some, some, some credentials along those ways. Um, if you would want to become a full-time nature photographer, then go out and take some pictures. Uh, go take some pictures of nature in, in your free time and develop your skill set. Whatever is going to lead you towards that, if you won the lottery reality, use the time that you have now to do those things. That's it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, question, or suggestion. That is all. I will see you in the next episode.